Hi, I'm Cornelius. Today I want to give you a quick overview about how we are bringing the GP to the 21st century with Avi Medical. So running a GP office is actually quite hard. You have to take care of a lot of things. So not only about treating the patient, but also a lot of administrative work. This includes things like the billing that you have to take care of, um, the real estate, as well as hiring nurses and managing all of the processes. So this leads to a lot of problems because a lot of processes these days are analog. So they are handled by phone or fax. Um, the processes within the practice are inefficient. And in the end, it comes down that medical doctors should not um, have to take care of what they're not trained to do. So in the end, it comes down that medical doctors should focus on what they're trained to do, treating a patient, not all of the bureaucracy and all of the work that comes with running a GP office. We at Avi Medical believe that in the power of digitalization. We believe that doctors should actually focus on what they're trained to do, treating patients. Everything else, hiring, all of the regulation, billing should be done by the practice itself, not by the doctor. To give you a quick overview about what the experience for the patient as well as for the practice looks like, um, I want to give you a quick overview about what we are building. So we believe in integrating a digital software with the physical experience in the practice is key to elevating the patient experience. For the patient side, we built an app so patients can manage the health um, within the app. They can reach out to the doctor and the practice. They can easily book appointments and they can also message if there's anything, um, anything urgent. So this is really about getting care whenever you need it. On the other hand, we're building a software solution for medical staff. So here we are trying to support medical staff in their day-to-day uh, -day operations and really focus on the patient and not everything else. And then lastly, we run and operate physical practices. So it's really about the patient experience in the practice. So let's have a look at what the experience for a patient looks like. So if you download the app, you can check out the different locations and see where, where we run different practices. You can also easily book an appointment. We also offer telemedicine, so you can really rely on a doctor whenever you need it. As you can see here, we make it easy to put in information even before the appointment. So you can put in your symptoms, um, add a note and much more. We also believe that giving patients the opportunity to provide a lot of information beforehand is key to good primary care. So we send out anamnesis forms before the appointment so patients can fill out the forms and really highlight what's important for them for the appointment. The doctor then on the other hand can see these information and really prepare before the patient even comes into the practice. So let's have a look at what the actual experience within the practice looks like for both the patients on the one hand and the practice on the other side. So for the practice, we build our own software solution. And there are three main pillars to this. So one is really make it easy to manage all of the appointments within the practice. Secondly, to really have a guideline um, for the processes within the practice um, and kind of like guide the patient into the right direction. And then lastly, we want to really make it easy for medical doctors um, for the documentation and support them in finding the right treatment for the patient. So let's have a look at what the experience within the practice looks like. So here you can see a patient is coming into the practice, is getting greeted at, at the reception, is handing over their insurance card and we think it's really key that everyone in the practice knows what is happening. And that's why we built the software with a so-called practice overview. On the practice overview, practice staff get an idea of really what is happening in the practice and where each patient is located. So as you can see, every patient has a card. On that card, medical staff can find the most important information about the patient, such as the patient name, age, the reason for the encounter, um, which medical doctor is actually taking care of the patient, or the appointment start and end time. 
In addition, if you click on the card, you can also get more information such as the medication the patient is taking, the pre-existing conditions, as well as allergies, for example. So in this case, again, the patient is coming in. And now, um, to really let, let everyone know that the patient has arrived, the nurse is now moving this card over to the waiting room. So that way, now the medical doctor can see, ah, okay, the patient has arrived and I can take care of the patient now. So the doctor is um, leaving the treatment room, going over to the waiting room, greeting the patient, and also again letting know everyone that the treatment now has started, um, moving over the card to the treatment room. In addition, we also put an indicator on the card because we really believe that waiting times should be a thing of the past and it's not really a pleasure for the patient to wait a long time in the practice. So now at the office and at the treatment room, the doctor might have additional questions to the patient um, that need the assistance of the nurse. In that case, we really make it easy to assign these tasks to um, the nurse and make it possible that, again, they see that there's something to do with the patient. So this could be something like, um, please draw blood, um, measure vital parameters, or perform additional diagnostics, such as an ECG. Now the MFA sees that as um, an open task and is walking over to the laboratory. So she's performing all of the operations over there. And then again, to let everyone know, um, she can just check the box and complete the tasks. Afterwards, the doctor sees that the tasks have been completed and can take care of the patient again and discuss the lab results. In addition, we give doctors the opportunity to send out um, messages to the patient after the appointment. So this could be something like um, more information about the diagnosis as well as what the treatment plan actually looks like. We're just getting started at Avi Medical and we believe that there are three pillars to having a great patient experience. First, having really easy access to the medical doctor and to the practice. So whenever you need um, an appointment, whenever you need to reach out to the practice, you can um, do so via the mobile app or via our website. Then secondly, the experience within the practice itself, what the practice looks like, how the whole experience from coming into the practice until leaving it is for you as a patient. And then last but not least, we believe that in the end it's all about can the practice and can the doctor help you live a healthier life. And then last but not least, we believe it's all about can we actually help you as a patient to live a healthier life. So we guide you even after the appointment and give you recommendations how to achieve your health goal. To get a glimpse about what the experience actually looks like, here are some pictures of what our practices look like. So you can see we really take care about making the experience in our practices really enjoyable and not making it seem like you're at a doctor, but you're kind of like feeling at home. We're just getting started at Avi Medical and we are always looking for talented people to join us and help us achieve our mission. So please check out our open positions or get in touch. Thank you for your attention. I hope I was able to give you an overview about how we elevate the patient experience and put the GP into the 21st century. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out. Thanks a lot for your attention.